Happy New Year, everybody. It is Dr. Sean, your physical therapy application coach. I hope you are having a great start to your 2023. I wanted to create this video. Um, it was sparked by a newsletter that, um, an e or part of our email newsletter that Kyle, one of our assistant coaches, um, put out a couple weeks ago. Shout out to Kyle. And if you haven't already, you should definitely click on the link in the description box down below to sign up for our free email newsletter so you can stay up to date on content like this um, whenever we post it. So we're looking at the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Okay, this is a, it's regarding physical therapists, regarding their employment numbers and their wages as of May, 2021, right? So this is pretty, pretty accurate, pretty up to date. And some things that you should think about before looking into these numbers. They don't include the total earnings that a physical therapist may make, right? So you, physical therapists in a lot of um, different ventures, um, there's income that may not be included in this because when you look at it, this is these are wages that are reported, okay? So as a result of that, these numbers can be different depending on individuals who maybe are business owners. Maybe you have some individuals that are included that are not working full time Maybe you have individuals who are working way more than full-time um, and they're getting paid just in wages, right? And so those are things that you kind of got to take it with a grain of salt, but the proof is in the pudding and the majority of the numbers are going to give us a pretty good picture of where you can expect to land in regards to your salary. Um, and this is going to vary drastically depending on the state that you live in and the setting that you work in. So that's kind of my preface. Um, and guys, if you already like what we're going to be talking about in this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be um, alerted when we post new content like this video, okay? So if we start start at this quick snapshot box up here, employment for physical therapists is right around 225,000 individuals. Mean hourly wage, so the average hourly wage that PTs are making is right around $45 an hour. And the mean annual wage that that translates to is about $93,000, okay? If that number makes you excited, great. If that number has you thinking, whoa, 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 I'm, I'm pre-physical therapy right now, but that's, that's not as much as I thought I was going to be making. Slow your roll. Pop, pump the brakes a bit. We're going to dive into these numbers a little bit and discover some areas, some specialties in physical therapy that you could consider working in or some states where they they pay more that you could consider working in, okay? All right, now, if we come down here and we look at the median number for hourly wage and annual wage, okay? So this is the number based on all the data points that they the Bureau of Labor Statistics received. 50% of physical therapists made more than this number. So that's this section up here. 50% made less than this number. That's these sections down here, okay? So the median hourly wage, right about $46, and the, the median annual wage is almost 96,000, okay? So either way, between whether we look at the mean or the median, you're looking at around $45 to $46 for an hourly wage, and the annual wage of around um, 93 to 96,000. That doesn't mean that you're gonna be stuck there for the rest of your life. And that doesn't necessarily mean that coming right out of school that you should be expecting to make that. Um, if you look at these numbers, though, and then you look at, okay, well, if this is what the average physical therapist is making in general, then if I'm a new grad, I would expect to make X number of dollars less, right? Just because you don't have the experience uh, with billing and being able to be efficient um, with your tasks, like you're not as skilled yet. That doesn't mean that your numbers won't grow. I hope for the everybody who's watching this video that your numbers are going to be up here, right? You're going to be in the top percentage of earners. All right, so now let's get into a little bit more of the breakdown of the different settings um, that where physical therapists work. Okay, so this section, this chart right here, is the industries with the highest levels of employment uh, for physical therapists. Okay, so. <clears throat> For me, this first category, again, some of these categories, uh, guys, as I've gone through and I've looked, I don't know exactly what setting it is. I have a general idea. If you have a better grasp or you've done additional research, I've done a fair amount of research on it. Some of them, I just couldn't figure out exactly where it is that this setting is. 
um, let us know in the comments section down below. But starting out, I'm assuming that this first one is your, your general ambulatory outpatient orthopedic uh, type of a clinic, right? Your general ambulatory outpatient. That's where the bulk of the, of the profession is. Um, and there's a lot of individuals who work in this area, mean wage of around 87,000, okay? General medical and surgical hospitals, another fairly solid chunk of the profession. They're making almost $97,000 a year. Home health care is an even smaller percentage. They're making about $106,000 a year. Office of Physicians, I I think this one is, these are individuals who work for physical physician run physical therapy clinics, I'm assuming. Um, and that's around, oh, not quite 15,000, okay? And they're making a little less than the general orthopedic office or the general uh, outpatient clinic. And then specialty, uh, individuals who work at specialty hospitals, um, that's around 11,000, and they are making 97, going on $98,000 a year as an ad, as a mean wage for individuals working in these different settings. For all of you folks who were a little nervous when you saw that number for physical therapists, those pre-PTs that were thinking PTs made more, okay? Top paying industries for physical therapists. Outpatient care centers. I did a bunch of research on this area. I have no idea where this is. Um, so if someone else has a better idea, please shout out in the comments section down below. It's a fairly small percentage of the physical therapy profession, um, but they're making 11 going on, uh, 111 going on $112,000 a year. Home health, shocker, comes up as number two. Um, so they're making, again, as we talked about, almost $106,000 a year. Child daycare services, this is a very small percentage of the profession, but they are making um, around one hundred two dollars to $103,000 a year. Local government, excluding schools and hospitals. I don't know exactly what that position would be, to be honest with you. Um, but that's right around 1,100 individuals, and they're making almost between one hundred one and $102,000 a year. And skilled nursing facilities. This is a fairly common um, area. And around 10,000 individuals working in this field, in this specific um, setting, and they're making just over $100,000 a year as an annual mean wage. Okay, so we'll get to part two of our equation now, because we talked about setting and we talked about state. Those are the two variables that we can factor in to help us determine what our wage is going to be um, coming into the physical therapy profession, okay? So this is the annual mean wage of physical therapists by state. And we're gonna look at the top five. So we have Nevada, California, Connecticut, Delaware, and New Jersey. The range being from 104 going on 105 in Nevada and right at 100, uh, just about 100,000 in New Jersey, okay? Now, one thing I will say about one of these states is not like the other, okay? California, Connecticut, Delaware, New Jersey, all pretty darn expensive to live there. Nevada is a fairly inexpensive state compared to these other states. You have no state income tax. You have general lower cost of living um, expenses as a result of that. I know inflation sucks pretty much everywhere right now, but in general, Nevada is less expensive than these other states. So I'm going to give you my personal example of when I was coming out of physical therapy school, I went to Northern Arizona University and I could have stayed in Arizona and got a job, but I would have gotten that job at a much lower wage than if I would have, um, than when I decided to go to Nevada. Um, if I was working for the same company doing the same job, if I started out in Arizona, I would have had made significantly less. Okay. As a result of that, when I left Nevada and I actually came back to Arizona, I was able to keep my um, higher Nevada salary, but I was able to go to a state that didn't pay as much and I could use that as a bargaining chip to say, hey, like I'm not gonna take a pay cut, can I keep my same wage? And I was able to do that, right? So if you go and you start working in a state that has a higher wage, then you can use that to help increase your, to raise the height of your income ceiling, right? Um, and hopefully that income ceiling is just from a wage standpoint, 
because we want you to look at it from a perspective of growing your career, growing who you are as an individual, um, having a side hustle, things like that, that can help you increase your overall income and going beyond just your wages, okay? I hope this video was helpful, guys. It kind of gives you a quick insight into some of the areas where you can learn. Um, I also hope that this video sparks some ideas for you to go do some research on the state that you live in or the state that you hope to practice in to figure out how much am I going to make roughly? What, what guess or what estimate could I expect uh, coming out of physical therapy school? How much would I expect to be making? Is this somewhere where I want to start practicing? What setting do I want to practice in? Um, again, money isn't everything. You can't make this decision solely based off of money, but we need money to survive and to get by, right? Um, and so we want to make sure that we're factoring in what we're going to be making and how we can maximize your income potential so you can live that awesome, satisfying life that we're looking for. And you can be able to fulfill your dreams, have financial independence, all those great things that we've mentioned here at Physical Therapy Application Coach. Thanks guys, and please remember again to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be made aware when we post new content. Um, this year in 2023, we are gonna be posting more videos about physical therapy as a profession in general, so we can help our pre-PTs be able to know more about the profession besides just being pre-PTs and getting into physical therapy school. So you can be armed with knowledge to help you make informed decisions going forward. Thanks guys, and hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.